Macho. Macho! Haven't seen enough around here lately, brother. I've been around. A little bit. A little bit, but the drought has been long. Well, no offense to your uh, fine establishment here, but it's not all good memories here, you know? This is where Lisa and I reconnected. Drinking drinks, playing darts, having fun. What the hell was I thinking? That's the point, isn't it? Lisa's a smoking hot crazy lady who had your sights set on you, brother. Thinking wasn't high on the list. I thought it'd be a lesson. Crazy is not hot. It's just crazy. I commend you for getting your marriage back on track. But I gotta tell you, Lisa brought a very sexy edge to the place. I'm gonna miss her. Something. You know, it kind of pains me to admit it, but I've never been the focus of a stock. <laughs> Count your blessings. Yeah, but I kind of wonder what it would feel like, man. I mean, obviously, there's a big downside, right? But the intensity and having someone that into you, especially like a classy, smart Dr. Babe. Like this. Robin is my classy, smart Dr. Babe. Yeah, well, Robin's not here. It's just us, uh, so once you come clean, it had to be flattering. Not in the least. I know you don't know everything that happened between Lisa and all the craziness, but she wasn't some minor annoyance. She threatened our lives. To be honest, I still don't know what happened because she wasn't like that in college. Well, what are you trying to tell me that Lisa was shy in the mirror? <laughs> I'm not no, buying that, man. No, I ain't saying that. Not even close. She just wasn't crazy and desperate. College was, uh... It was tough, man. You know, it was competitive. We studied our asses off, but when we got the opportunity, we partied just as hard. She was right there with me. But there was a different time, a uh, different man. No, I get that, I get that, but it just sounds like you had the best of both worlds back then. Don't you ever miss it, brother? <laughs> I actually went to see Lisa H. Shaper. Yes, I did, doctor's request. I did it as a uh, professional curse. Nah, it's more than that, man. You're a good guy with a good heart. No matter how it turned out, I mean, you remember the Lisa that turned your head in the first place. That's who you're trying to help, right? It's my fault I didn't see that that woman is not there anymore. Escape was always on the horizon. She was confident the whole time. I, I, I thought it was a, a deeper level of delusion, but it wasn't. She had the plan the whole time. Well, so what she said to you? What, like she'd, she'd figure out a way to be with you again? Something like that? She said it was hopeless. 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 According to Lisa, who apparently knows me better than anybody else, I will never be faithful. It's not in my DNA. I'm telling you right now, I will never betray Robin the way I did. Never again. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> well, hey, man, I've never pr promised fidelity to any woman. I mean, I know myself too well, but... Hey, brother, if you can pull it off, more power to you, man. So big old Coleman's not a believer. Well, it's not for me to say, big old Patrick, but you're a player. And in my experience, players gotta play. Some advice about how to make things work with a particular lady friend. Oh, please. Yeah, she kind of put the old kibosh on old Coleman. So I was kind of wondering if maybe promising fidelity might make a difference. Feel free to chime in. Oh, well, uh, I can only speak for myself. Well, sure, go ahead. Okay, well, fidelity is a big deal. You know, exclusivity should not be treated lightly and it should also not be used as a means to an end so if you want to promise Kate that she's the only woman you want to be with you have to mean it you can't be doing it just because you don't want to lose her because she is a woman and she'll figure that out and it won't end pretty mm. <laughs> that's good it's hard to argue with the truth Thanks for your counsel, sister. No problem. Good shirt. Wow, thanks. You know I'm not like Coleman. You know. I didn't fight to get you back just because I wanted to win. It's because you're the only woman I want to be with. Well, you're the only man I want to be with. 
Did Anthony send you? Did he bring what I asked? Tell me, Owen. Trust me, he knows.